I'd like to call the uh, first meeting of the 2013-14 Common Council to order. I'd like to start out and have the clerk read the quote. Thank you, Mayor. I hope our achievements in life shall be these, that we will have fought for what was right and fair, that we will have risked for that which mattered, that we will have given help to those who were in need, that we will have left the earth a better place for what we've done and who we've been. Thank you. Next, we'll go on to the roll call. Bellinger? Here. Boren? Here. Carlson? Here. Decker? Excused. Donahue? Excused. Hammond? Here. Heideman? Here. Herman? Lassard? Here. Lewandusky? Matichek? Here. Thiel? Here. Van Akron? Excused. Vanderweel? Here. Versi? Here. And Wolf? Here. 13 present. Next, we'll have the presentation of the colors by the Sheboygan Police Department's Honor Guard. Shoulder, arms. Ready, cut. Trees and arms. Next, we're going to have a moment of silence for the Boston Marathon bombing victims. Please bow your heads. Thank you. Next, I'd like to ask the barbershop group vaguely familiar to come up and sing the national anthem for us. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in the air gave proof through the night that our flag still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you very much. Please uh, join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Shoulder. Order, arms. Ready, cut. 
Port Arms. Ready? Two. Ready? Two. Ready? Two. Ready? Two. Colors. Next, for the invocation, I'd like to call up Pastor Todd Smith of First United Lutheran Church. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of life and for the gift of this day. We ask that you please be with our brothers and sisters and fellow citizens out in Boston and for the victims and their families. We pray, God, for this government body here, for Mayor Leck Vandersteen and for his leadership and also for the leadership of all the older persons in this room. We ask that you would bless their families, continue to guide their ways as they seek justice and fairness. We pray, God, that you'd be with them throughout this year as they work together to help our community to grow and to flourish so that you get all the glory and praise. In his name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Please be seated. <clears throat> Next we'll proceed to the swearing in of the mayor elect and later the alder persons elect. By the way, this is my wife, Julie. <laughs> right hand. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> please repeat after me. I, please state your name. Hi, Michael Vandersteen. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and impartially. Will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office of mayor. Of the office of mayor. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you very much. If we could have the older persons elect come up, please. Discharge the duties. 
Discharge the duties of the office of alder person. The office of alder person. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, gentlemen. Next, I need a motion to approve the op adopting the rules of the Common Council. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to adopt the rules of the, con uh, the Common Council. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll have the election of the President and Vice President of the Common Council. The clerk? Can we get nominations from a motion for nominations, please? Thank you. I move that nominations be received for the floor, voting to be done by closed ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate um, with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting continue until one candidate receives the majority. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Go ahead, Alderman Carlson. Yes, thank you, Mayor. I will uh, nominate Alderperson Hammond for the office of president. Second. It's been moved and seconded. We have a nomination for Alderman Hammond for the office council president. Are there any other nominations? Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Move, you know, accept the motion to close those. Um, thank you, I move this. I move that the city clerk be instructed to cast a unanimous ballot for Alderperson Hammond for president of the Common Council. Second. Is moved and seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Passes. I guess we have to do this the old fashioned way. Uh, we have to hand out some ballots and yep. you have to fill them in so we have a record of this. Yep. So ballots will be coming. Rance, you thought that was easy. <laughs> I think the city attorney is overruling the clerk and she agrees, so <laughs> we will stand. Yay. All right. Congratulations, Don. <laughs> Congratulations, Alderman Hammond. Thank you. And next will be the election for the vice president of the Common Council. Thank you. I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by closed ballot. And if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Second. And moved and seconded. <coughs> Any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that Daryl Carlson be nominated for vice president of the council. Thank you for that nomination. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Alderman Carlson is a candidate for this office. Are there any other nominations? <coughs> Alderman uh, Heidemann. Thank you, Mary. I nominate uh, Alderman Bercy. Okay, is there a second to that nomination? Second. It's been seconded by Alderman Bourne. We have a second candidate, Alderman Bercy, for the Common Council Vice President. Are there any other nominations? Any other nominations? Any other nominations? I'll entertain a motion to close. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that nominations for Vice President be closed. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. This time we will do ballots.
Alderman, if you could please print your last name because some of your signatures are not as le legible as others. Not that I'm judging, but. <laughs> I actually changed my name to a symbol now. Yeah. X. Bring the barbershop choir back. <laughs> Maybe not quite that. <laughs> Your youngest is two already? We have a lot of VHS if you need those. No, I have a ton of those. <laughs> <laughs> Alderman Carlson, congratulations. You're the new council vice president. <laughs> Next, we'll move on to the election of representatives to serve on the city planning commission. Uh, the representative on the Board of Contract Examiners, and two representatives to, to serve on the Capital Improvements Commission. I move that not, first for a City Planning Commission, I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to, be, to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Passes. And then we'll go for nominations for the position on the City Planning Commission. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I move that Scott Versey be nominated for City Planning Commission. Second. It's been moved and seconded that Scott Versey is a candidate for this uh, representative on the City Planning Commission. Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Thank you. I move that nominations be closed and that the city clerk be instructed to cast a unanimous ballot for all the person versi for the representative on the city planning commission. Second. 
been moved and seconded. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Congratulations, all in University. Next, we'll deal with the representatives on the Board of Contract Examiners. Thank you. I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Passes. Nominations are open. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that Susie Lassard be nominated for Board of Contractor Examiners. Second. Second. Thank you for that nomination. Are there any nom other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Thank you. I move that nominations be closed and that the city clerk be instructed to cast a unanimous ballot for Alderperson Lassard for, the, for a representative on the Board of Contractors Examiners. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Congratulations, all on the side. <laughs> Next, we'll move on to the two representatives on the Capital Improvements Commission. Thank you again. I move that nominations uh, be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Under nominations. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that uh, Alderperson Carlson and Alderperson Versi be nominated to the Capital Improvements Commission. Second. So it's moved and seconded. We have two candidates for that position. Are there any other nominations? Alderman Heideman. Thank you, Mayor. I nominate John Bellinger. Thank second. you. Is there a second? Second. We have three candidates. Alderman Bellinger is also a candidate. Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Okay, we will begin the balloting. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I move that the nominations be closed and ballot or ballot be taken. Second. And uh, thank you for that motion and second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Passes. Um. three candidates what we want you to do is on your ballot put two names down it'll move things along a little bit so you've got Alderman Carlson if I'm correct you've got Alderman Versi and Alderman Bellinger between those you need to put two names down on your ballot the bottom of the sheet, my vote is put two names down so it's Carlson Versi Bellinger put two of those down
announce this one. You can announce one. Yep. Okay, we have um, one candidate that, um, that was elected. That's Alderman Carlson. Uh, we have a tie between Alderman Versi and Alderman Bellinger. We're going to have to take another vote to break that tie. So obviously now you're just writing down one name. And the choices are Alderman Versi and Alderman Bellinger. The uh, second alder person elected to the Capital Improvements Commission is Alderman Versi. Congratulations. <laughs> Next, we're going to take a short recess to elect the Committee of the Whole Chairman. This is what the big chair feels like. All right. All right. Um, we are going to um, begin the nomination process. So I would entertain a motion um, to open the floor to nominations for a committee of the whole chair. Alderman Versi. I'd like to nominate uh, Alderman Jim Bourne as committee. Oh, we need a motion to open the floor to nominations. Sorry. Motion to open the floor for nominations for yes. committee of the whole chair. Is there a second? Second. Motion and a second. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nominations are open. Please. Nomination for Jim, Alderman Jim Boren as Committee of the Whole Chairman. Second. There's a motion and a second to nominate Alderman Boren for Committee of the Whole Chairman. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Finally, are there any other nominations for Committee of the Whole Chair? Okay. Hearing none, I'd entertain a motion to close nominations. Motion and a second to close nominations. Just unanimous ballot. I would entertain a motion to instruct the city clerk to cast unanimous ballot for Jim Bourne as committee of the chair hole. So moved. Committee of the whole chair. <laughs> Dave, Mr. Gass, I'm never going to live that down, am I? <laughs> um, there's a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries.
Congratulations, Alderman Bourne, Committee of the Whole Chair. We'll reconvene the meeting of the Common Council. The next um, report by Council President on the election of the Committee of the Whole Chairperson. Alderperson Jim Bourne. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Alderman Bourne. Thank you. Next, the President of the Council's message. We'll do it from, we'll do it from here. Um, I'll keep my message brief. Um, four scores, seven years ago today. I'm just kidding. Um, that was for Corey, who brought up at Lincoln yesterday. Um, first, I just want to thank everybody for their confidence. Um, last year was a f fun but interesting year. Um, we got through it. Um, over the last three years that I've been on this body, we've come a long, long way. Um, but we still have many things that we need to accomplish. Um, my focus has always has been on economic development and will continue to be. And then finally, the budget that we have to tackle. 2015 is going to be a very interesting year for the budget, and we need to work now to start putting things in place for the long term. The one thing I'd ask for this council um, to wrap up is, I, as we go forward, there's going to be many difficult decisions we have to make. And I would ask that we put our personal agendas uh, behind and focus on what's best for the, the greater good and for the long term vision of the city. Thank you again. Look forward to working with you. Thank you for that message. Next, the committee will hold chairperson's message. Alderman Bourne. Thank you. And Don told me his was going to be five minutes, so I scheduled mine for about 45 minutes. So here we go. <laughs> I yield the time. <laughs> uh, first, I'd like to congratulate Mayor Vandersteen. Uh, Mike and I go back many years. Uh, I didn't talk to Mike about this, but uh, I think Mike remembers the days when he played softball for the uh, Sheboygan JCs, and I was the, the manager of Dick's, Towers, Dick's Tower Inn and GNL Sports Shop. And I just reminded, wanted to remind you, Mike, that I think we beat you every time we played the JCs, but I, I think I pirated all the good, the, the good athletes on the, on the JCs. That but. you did. <laughs> And then on a little more serious note, uh, back when I had my business, I served uh, on the uh, Chamber of Commerce uh, Government and Public Affairs Committee, I believe it was called, Government and Public Policy Committee from 1986 until I sold my business in 2006. And Mike attended most of those meetings, I think, first as a small business person like I was, and then also after he got on the county board. Uh, I would, uh, and I look forward to working with you, Mike. Uh, I think it's, I'm very excited about this council year. I'd also like to congratulate the, uh, the alder persons that were re-elected, especially my fellow alderman, Joe Heideman from the 8th District. Uh, Joe and I have been representing the 8th District uh, together for six years, and I look forward to working with Joe uh, during the next year. A special welcome to our new alderman, Todd Wolf, Mark Herman, and Bill Thiel. I look forward to working with you gentlemen. Uh, I would also like to thank, thank uh, Alderman Hammond and Alderman Carlson for stepping forward to assume the leadership positions on the council, uh, president and vice president, respectively. I want to thank my fellow alder persons for electing me to the third term as your committee of the whole chairman. Uh, it's an honor and a privilege to serve you. Uh, <clears throat> the mayor's uh, confidential secretary, Mary Rager, Rager will again assist me in preparing agendas, taking minutes, and having the minutes published in a timely manner. I very much appreciate Mary's assistance. She has done an outstanding job for me. <clears throat> for those new aldermen and people at home and in the audience, the Committee of the Whole is a committee where all the alder persons meet to discuss issues that usually require a fairly lengthy discussion, a longer, more thorough discussion than we could possibly do at a regular council meeting. Uh, any matter that the committee of the whole votes on is then referred back to the council for final approval. The committee of the whole meets generally between six and 10 times a year. The committee of the whole may get referrals from standing committees where that committee believes a more thorough discussion is warranted on the issue. 
This year, I would like to again encourage the mayor, the chief administrative officer, the department heads, and my fellow alder persons to contact me and refer any topics to me for the uh, uh, committee of the whole to discuss. I promise not to meeting uh, I promise not to meeting us to death, but I am willing to meet whenever an issue uh, is referred to us for discussion. Uh, just to give you a flavor of what's upcoming, our first meeting will be held next week or the following week, and that will be an alter, aldermanic orientation for the new aldermen and a, uh, uh, and a refresher for the other aldermen. I also plan to hold a meeting very early in May with our chief administrative officer, Jim Amodio. Uh, as Don was saying, our, our budget is very important for 14 and 15, and I want Mr. Amodio to give the new alderman and the rest of the council an update on the uh, budget for 2014 and 15. <coughs> uh, so that, uh, that is what we're gonna be doing in the next few weeks. I again wanna thank, thank you for electing me to this position and I look forward to working, working with all of you. Thank you. Thank you for that message, Alderman Bourne. Um, next is the mayor's appointments. Pursuant to section 2277 of the municipal code, the standing committee assignments are made by the mayor on April 16th and subject to confirmation by the full council on April 22nd. It's the mayor's responsibility to make the assignments that will best serve the interests of the city of Sheboygan. And under the municipal code, each alder person will be appointed to at least one, but not more than two standing committees. Uh, I've got a spreadsheet that I gave you along with those committee appointments. And I'm, I'm proud to say that uh, 12 of the 16 aldermen got their first choice in a committee assignment and four of the 16 got their second. So I, I hope that you will find those acceptable and look forward to uh, uh, the approval of those on the 22nd. Steve, please read those. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, hereby, I submit the following appointments for your confirmation. Uh, <clears throat> to the Finance Committee, Don Hammond, Chair, Daryl Carlson, Vice Chair, Joe Heideman, John Bellinger, and Todd Wolf. Public Protection and Safety Committee, Daryl Carlson, Chair, David Van Akron, Vice Chair, Scott Versey, Susan Lassard, and Marilyn Donahue. To the Public Works Committee, Joe Heideman, Chair, Jim Boren, Vice Chair, Jeremy Decker, John Bellinger, and Mark Herman. To the Salary and Grievance Committee, Marilyn Donahue, Chair, Jim Boren, Vice Chair, Don Hammond, Jody Vanderweel, and Todd Wolf. And on, on the Law and Licensing Committee, Jody Vanderweel is Chair, Kevin Matichek is Vice Chair, Scott Lewandowski, Susan Lassard, and Bill Thiel. Signed by the Mayor. Thank you very much. Moving on, um, my first proclamation of the new term is going to be a proclamation uh, honoring Sheboygan Barbershop Harmony Week. Uh, just read this quickly. The Society for the Preservation and Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America, known as the Barbershop Harmony Society, has officially was organized on April 11th of 1938 in Tulsa, Oklahoma. What began as a small group has steadily blossomed into the world's largest all-male singing organization, an international organization of men from all stations of life. And whereas the Barbershop Harmony Society is dedicated to the spread of harmony for the enjoyment of all people in the world through organizing and encouraging close harmony singing groups, and whereas the Barbershop Harmony Society encourages harmony amongst all people of the world through universal language of music, and whereas the Barbershop Harmony Society has actively preserved and presented a distinct style of vocal music that originated in North America, and whereas the Barbershop Harmony Society is dedicated to sustaining and preserving an American tradition, the Barbershop Quartet, and whereas the Barbershop Harmony Society promotes the musical education through music scholarships and other means and supports charitable foundations, and whereas the barbershoppers are engaged in laudable civic activities in the enrichment of our cultural life through the fostering of traditional values and entertainment and community endeavors. I therefore, Mike Vandersteen, Mayor of the City of Sheboygan, to hereby proclaim the week of April 14th through 20th of 2013 as Barbershop Harmony Week. Um, the barbershoppers couldn't stay until we got to this point in the agenda because they have a practice for a performance at the Wild Center this Saturday. So if you're inclined, please uh, attend and support them.
Next, we'll go on to the mayor's message. I want to thank the voters of the city of Sheboygan for the opportunity and privilege that they've given me to serve as your Sheboygan mayor. I'm humbled by the positive comments I've received since the election. I pledge to do my best to move Sheboygan forward in the coming years. The previous council put a great deal of work into the drafting of the guiding principles for the mayor. I appreciate the thought that went into this document and to that end as mayor, I will do my best to live up to these expectations, not only of the council, but of the community. To accomplish this, I have uh, yesterday resigned as the manager of Dubois Formalware and I also resigned my seat as a county board supervisor. Early on, I was asked if I was gonna continue the role as a supervisor and I want a little bit more time to think about it. And as I thought about it, I really thought that there would be some conflicts and I wouldn't have to make a decision not to go to one meeting or the other where I was uh, needed to vote on a committee. So I made the decision to have a little bit more singular purpose and, and just uh, um, be mayor of the city of Sheboygan. I think um, the conflict uh, would have presented some areas where I couldn't attend or participate as a county supervisor and that's best to left, left to a new individual to assume those roles. Today is a new day and we can all learn from the past to secure the future. I've been reminded that leadership is, a is not a position but rather action. You have been elected as leaders of this community. Our responsibility is to help form the vision and the future of Sheboygan. We need to carefully consider all available options and deal with the opportunities that are facing us and realize that many times without compromise, nothing will change. Change is difficult and sometimes painstaking, but without change, nothing will ever change. As we look at our community, I believe that there are areas that we need to focus on. First, economic development. I believe we need to work with our industries and businesses to grow and prosper here in Sheboygan. In addition, we need to attract new businesses and good paying jobs to Sheboygan. To work towards that goal, I will be accepting a board position that has been offered by the Sheboygan Economic Development Corporation. I want to be sure that we are represented on this board and getting the full value for the city investment in this partnership. Some of the current activities we're undertaking as city staff in partner with the SCEDC is continuing to work with a number of local employers to bring their expansion plans to reality. At this time, approximately 100 to 150 new manufacturing jobs may be created as a result of these current projects. City staff is working on development opportunities at the former Shukert property. City development is developing new wayfinding signage plan for the city to provide a consistent sign, signage from the interstate to downtown districts and also to key attractions. The bid and, and the city are working on a master plan for the business improvement district with an emphasis on downtown. This plan will prepare a market study for the district and future business recruitment efforts as well as design guidelines for new downtown development. The bid and the city are also involved in Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation's Connecting Communities program that offers technical assistance and networking opportunities to local leaders interested in revitalizing our downtown. This year we can celebrate the completion of the 30-year Sheboygan River dredging project. Marketing that has occurred uh, went out to a thousand Great Lakes yacht owners that uh, Sheboygan now has deep water. The future economic impact for the local business community is going to be great with the river being usable again. Legislative agenda. In the guiding principles, we talked about the mayor being um, speaking for the, the, the council on legislative matters. And I really feel that we need to work to develop a legislative agenda with position papers to support those changes that we feel are necessary in the laws of the state and or the administrative rules of the state. In order to accomplish this, we need to include the aldermen, department heads in regular meetings with our state and federal legislators. An agenda and schedule will soon be developed. Um, and sustainability, I believe that uh, the Sheboygan Sustainable Task Force, with their help, we can improve our sustainability score. After establishing a baseline, we can chart our progress if we continue to make future improvements. Sheboygan is one of the two communities in the state that is in a non-attainment status. Our sustainability improvements can affect our return to an attainment status and allow us to reduce city operating expenditures and those expenditures of businesses that operate here. The city of Sheboygan's regional wastewater facility was, along with Donahue Engineers, was recently uh, honored with the American Council of Engineers Companies 
Wisconsin 2013 Engineering Excellence Award, which recognized the collaborative effort between Donahue and the city to improve energy efficiency, production, and recovery at the treatment facility. This project makes Sheboygan's wastewater facility the first in Wisconsin to regularly produce more electrical energy than it requires, exporting excess renewable electricity to the grid. As the city replaces its fleet of garbage trucks, there's the opportunity to take advantage of the new, newly available, less expensive fuels and convert those trucks to burn CNG, compressed natural gas. Converting the city-owned streetlights to LEDs can also continue, and this will lose much energy, and most of the communities that have done this have experienced payback on this investment in less than two years. Investing in our infrastructure. As we all know, some of our roads have failed to endure a tough winter. With the council's blessing, we can reprioritize enough budgeted funds to repair the roads that were damaged by the winter freeze-thaw cycle. There are some major road replacement and repaving projects that are currently slated to start soon, very soon. Eisner Avenue, Erie Avenue, and South Business Drive. In addition to the road improvements, there will be pedestrian improvements along Eisner Avenue. The interurban trail from Penn Avenue to Martin Avenue will be constructed this summer and converted to a pathway that can be used by walkers and bikers. Partnerships and recreation. The quarry will get a new look as the Verona Recreation Company partners with the city of Sheboygan to add inflatable play devices to J.C. Park Quarry. J.C. Park will again become the summer attraction it had been for many years. This new partnership will put lifeguards on duty at the quarry to assure the community of a safe experience at the summer playground. Clean and safe neighborhoods. Our Neighborhood Pride program has brought several neighborhoods together to form neighborhood associations. We will continue to grow as many associations as we can and support the ones that currently exist. Since the beginning of the year, city departments have been involved in approximately 25 neighborhood meetings across the city. Participants of these groups may be interested in forming formal neighborhood associations or will just stay informal for the meeting, maybe perhaps as a neighborhood party. Either way, these efforts are a way of allowing neighbors to get to know each other, and I encourage all of you to attend these meetings in your district. I've been to several of them, and it's been a real eye-opening experience. As part of the ongoing neighborhood revitalization strategy, designation for the neighborhoods around Erie Avenue, the city staff is working to repave Erie Avenue with federal dollars from North 8th to North 14th. And if budget allows, some LED lighting and the street lighting will also be added to this project. Habitat for Humanity, the Gateway Neighborhood Association of the City have partnered in an effort to reinvest in properties along Erie Avenue. Design guidelines for the homes have been developed. Blighted properties will soon be purchased and raised. And in 2014, new homes can be constructed. We also enhance the code enforcement with a partnership between the Building Inspection Department and the Police Department. Two days a week, representatives from both departments are walking the neighborhoods and writing up properties in need of repairs. The city is partnering, partner, partnering with the John Michael Kohler Art Center in the Wooster Collective Sheboygan Project. Some of the work can be seen in the hallways of City Hall. Under this collaborative art will be taken out of the gallery and put on the street in publicly owned buildings and spaces around the city. Visiting artists and area residents and participants across the country will create works of art that will celebrate Sheboygan's culture and people. Budget development. During the coming term, I will ask the council to evaluate and prioritize all of our city programs. This effort, when finished, will help to guide the council's future budget deliberations. Regional cooperation. Several cooperative efforts with our municipal neighbors have produced positive results for the city. I will continue to look for new opportunities to bring to the Common Council for their consideration. If our vision for, vision for the future is to have more effective, efficient government that serves the residents and the businesses of this community, we can start now with teamwork, communication at City Hall. Between our employees and the elected officials, if we can accomplish this agenda for progress, it means having an open discussion active debates, and compromising to make everything work better. I remind you that leadership takes action. Thank you very much. Has anyone registered for the public forum? No, not this evening.
Next is a resolution requesting the mayor to reactivate various special committees in the 2013-14 council. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that we put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Entertain a motion to adjourn. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Again, congratulations. Good luck. And I make the motion to adjourn. Second. It's been moved and second to adjourn. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you very much.